So both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris here recent days have been venturing outside their, their media comfort zones with Harris on Fox News, Trump on, on Univision. Nielsen, by the way, just reported over 7 million people turned into the tuned in for the Fox interview with uh, Brett Baer and Harris. So News Nation media contributor Colby Hall writes that Harris gave Fox viewers what they almost never hear about Trump, adding, quote, to my eye, Harris did well in a challenging environment. Bear later referred to her demeanor as combative, though a kinder interpretation would be assertive. She avoided her usual tendency of prattling on, perhaps aided by Bear's interruptions to keep her from filibustering on her answers. Colby joins us now. And, you know, it's interesting, Colby, we could talk about this, but I also wonder, since you wrote that, we have the breaking news from the Middle East working into kind of the media equation and how these candidates handle themselves on the trail to the point where Harris already had to make some comments with protesters outside of her event. So this is the next challenge. Right. It's a fluid story. And I thought it was really interesting that it was Kamala Harris, the vice president, who addressed the nation after news of Sinwar's uh, uh, death. Hmm. Uh, and I gather President Joe Biden's going to be speaking with Netanyahu, and that might uh, make some news as well. But, you know, Kamala Harris is really trying to thread a very tiny needle uh, with the chaos that's still unfolding over well over a year now since the atrocities of October 7th in the Middle East, because she wants to appeal to a pro-Israel base and defend Israel's right to defend themselves, which she has been consistent on. But suddenly Michigan, which has a very strong pro-Palestinian con contingency, is a dead heat and a really suddenly very important swing state that could determine the outcome of the election. So she, her language is also sort of, uh, uh, you know, appeasing to that voting bloc. And I think she's wish, wish casting a little bit, saying, like, now it's time for peace. It's time to have Hamas leave power. You know, would that be true for everyone? I think would love that. Is it realistic? I don't think so. You know, to your point, though, about her being the one that addressed the nation, this idea of her charting her own course, I thought one of the more significant comments in her back and forth with Brett on Fox News was this idea that she wouldn't just be Joe Biden part two. I want to play that clip. Let's watch. My presidency will not be a continuation of Joe Biden's presidency. And like every new president that comes in to office, I will bring my life experiences, my professional experiences, and fresh and new ideas. I represent a new generation of leadership. Now, this, of course, Colby came after she told The View she would, couldn't find anything she would do differently from, from Biden. So what about this answer? I mean, it's a tricky question. It's a yeah. really tough question for her to answer because she's not going to sell out Joe Biden, the person that, like, elevated her to potentially the next commander-in-chief, Right. It's still surprising to me that she doesn't really have a better answer. I thought that that was an improvement. The next thing she should have said will be like sort of a specifics of what she plans to do with, you know, sort of her economic plan, which she's outlined before. But why bury that? Like people want to know that you can bullet point the $50,000 loans to small businesses and the blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm, I'm not fluent in her platform. But she has stuff out there. So I think that was a missed it was a, It was a better answer than before. Mm -hmm. It still didn't quite get to where she needs to be because people want specifics. People are still skeptical. Now, one point uh, about Trump before we let you go. When he goes to this Univision, um, it was like a town hall style format. Guy stands up in the audience to ask a question, says something to the effect of, you know, uh, I'm not a big fan of how you handle things after the last election, January 6th and the like, and, but I'm, I'm willing to give you a chance. I'm willing to kind of to vote for you. I want you to be... How would you convince me, paraphrasing the questioner? And then Trump says this. Watch. The people that don't support a very small portion, the vice president, I disagree with him on what he did. Uh, I totally disagreed with him on what he did. Uh, very importantly, you had uh, hundreds of thousands of people come to Washington. They didn't come because of me. They came because of the election. They thought the election was a rigged election. That was a day of love from the standpoint of the millions. It's like hundreds of thousands. A day of love, January 6th. Colby? He never backs down, right? And, uh, you know, it is true that 100,000 people, well, a lot of people showed up because they believed his baseless claim that the election was rigged. It was not. But, you know, you watch the footage and, you know, you see the more violent protesters attack. It's, to me, it's absurd that he would defend that and say, but of course, that, you know, he never gives an inch. So it is not a surprise. And I, I will say that it was, I was sort of impressed with the question that was asked. And judging by his body language, that uh, town hall goer at the Univision event, 
didn't seem to be sold. So, I, you know, it's not a good topic for Trump, but he will never, ever admit to any wrongdoing. And that's just the latest example. Of right. That. Even when he said he lost the one or two times he did, then it came up at the debate. He says, no, 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 I was just being sarcastic. So there you go. Yeah. That's where we are. Thank you, yeah. Colby. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.